July to about October every year, millions of wildebeests make their perilous journey between the Mara and the Serengeti across the deadly Mara River, battling the tide and the waiting predators. This annual stampede is one of nature's most spectacular events. But now the mighty Mara River is on a fight for its and it's seemingly losing the battle. Tonight, we assess the damage done on this fragile ecosystem and that if not urgently corrected, could spell the end for the eighth wonder of the world. Sheila Sende has a story. For millions of years, I have been the theater of one of nature's greatest wonders. Traveling from the verdant green escarpments in the freezing cold and through the fields of food to the scorched plains in the arid lands lending a hand to two countries, millions of people, and an assortment of wildlife. Ungentle, yet harsh. I flow in stillness and in disarray. I give life, but I also take it. People love me, my beauty, my power. But I don't think I can give any more. I am tired, tapped. The battle to strap my soul has been won and lost. I am the Mara River, and I am dying. Every year between July and September, when the grass has shriveled and the springs are parched, thousands of restless wildebeests scan the air for distant scents of rain. From the broad grasslands of Serengeti in Tanzania, the thousands of them rumble into the Maasai Mara National Reserve, a crucial fortress of grass and water for that season. And on a dusty strip of road, hundreds of curious visitors take the rock-ribbed path leading to the Masai Mara Game Reserve, drawn to the hungry and thirsty nature's travelers. For the migrating animals, danger lies ahead. A good number of them fall to the predators. But the Mara River is another formidable barrier on their annual journey. They have to scramble down one bank and up another, battling the fast-moving waters and the predators that hide in them. For the visitors, this is the stage for what's routinely referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. But this year, something has been missing from the parade. Jackson I'm the general manager, Older Poi, attended community camp. Then the Mara was beautiful. The river was nobody's business. The river was so big. We used to, to see a lot of migration in the months of uh, July till September. The water have gone down. Even in this season, many tourists never enjoyed a lot because the river is so, I don't know the way I can call it, small or maybe the water is gone off. We wanted to, to see the migration around the Mara River but we can see a uh, crossing the river we the next time joseph taya works at the Sekinani camp as a ranger he's been in the mara for most of his life and for him the great wildebeest migration is losing lure what was once a great leap into the unknown is now a short grateful hop across a mere winding belt of mud <laughs> Sababu samani mararifa ni maji ni mingi sana. Siku isi tunaona mararifa maji ya mekatika marambili. Kuona katikati ya maji ni mchanga tunawonikana. Naona krosi mzuri sababu ya maji. Sio tu kuona ati sababu ngunu naruka nafuka laga. Ngunu wa kiruka kuja kutoka tasania kuingia masimara. Naona napita maji kubwa sana kwa ngufu mbaga naona tu. Na fry ya tawa kiwanda kuwana kiloso kina fry ya. Lakini siku isi, tunawana ngunu nafukatu lakini hakuna maji mingi na pita. 
na kuja tu msuri sana nafika tu pole pole hapo wanyama anakanga kwa maji kama crocodile na hippo kwa mariva bali kiangazi nakuja naona na kuwa jua anapika sana sababu hakuna hakuna maji ya kulalia The Mara River is a 395 km long waterway connecting the Masai Mara with the Serengeti in Tanzania. It's one of the drainage basins that feed into the Lake Victoria. Conservationists now worry what's happening amounts to an ecological disaster. Tourists always come here for migration mostly. And what is worrying most is that Mara River is going to its end. In the next 5 to 10 years we have no Mara River, neither tourists coming to this country. Masai Mara, what always brings the tourists is the migration. Because I suppose in Botswana there is lion, in Namibia there is lion, there is uh, elephants. But the main thing that has made Mara to be much more famous is the migration that always took place from Jul July to almost November. Very soon, if nothing will be done, on an immediate effect we shall cry as a country this shall become a big shame for the generations to come to be told we used to have Masai Mara and no more the answers to the riddle of the Mara's dwindling waters lie upstream up a treacherous terrain and onto the lofty peaks of the Mao forest escarpments People can see just through their naked eyes that Mara River is dying. Cutting trees everywhere, leaving the forest to be like a bear. You can't even believe how Mara Ma, Ma forests look like. The life-giving veins of the Mara River spring up from the Enapuyapui swamp at the heart of the Kiptunga forest block in the eastern Mao forest complex. The wetland is an amassment of reeds that act as a water reservoir especially during the rainy seasons but it's wasting away Fenye tuna elewa hapa hapa ndio source ya rifa mara ni anapu yapu sisi tukiwa watoto wadogo tunajua hapa sasa napu yapu hapa iwezi pitika hapo ilikuwa na maji mingi hapo kulikuwa na mashini ya maji which means ilikuwa ina supply maji hapa Kiptunga forest kwa ma, kwa maafisa wa serikali wa Kiptunga wakati ya kiangazi inapokuja naona maji inasonga mpaka labda ina maji inabaki tu kwa maji kidogo hapa mahali unaona lakini hapo samani hata kiangasi yenye ilikuwa inakuja ina gani ilikuwa tu inakuta ina, iko na maji mingi hato sana sana the swamp was once surrounded by a fence of indigenous trees usiwane usiwane nabu ya kama ni hapa tu hapa wote ilikuwa msitu mpaka huko chini kulikuwa na mianzi na ilikuwa inaleta inafuruta mvua hata kutoka na kuru the rising population of forest dwelling communities is also one of the biggest threats to the forest and the wetlands within it. Kitambo mzitu ilikuwa mingi. Na haikuwa watu hakuwa wameishi ndani sana. Kulikuwa na watu tu hawa okay community ndio walikuwa wanaishi kwa msituni. Na wakati hiyo hawakuwa na hawakuwa na biashara mingi kwa msituni walikuwa tu ni kufuga nyuki na kuyaka hiyo msinga na hata ulangusi wa mstuni wa kuwa wakati hiyo mingi venye saisi kwa saisi biashara imekuwa inaendelea kwa msitu venye watu wanaendelea kuishi msitu venye maji inaendelea kwenda chini Nicholas Murero the chairman of the Narrow County Natural Resources Network says in the last 20 years more than a quarter of the forest has been decimated by human development, agricultural activity and a booming trade in timber. The water that runs from it is now increasingly less in flow and much lower in quality. The next three years, no mamara, no mamara, hakuna mara tena. Kiangalia saa hizi, semu hizi, misitu imekatakato sana. Kwa hiyo msitu kuna miti ambayo inahifadhi maji na kuna ingine yanakunywa maji ile imebaki ni ile ya kumaliza maji na tena sana sana kama ingewezekana wangepewa kukate karibu na sosu wangaenda mbali kabisa mbali na sosu inatakiwa tupane indigenous tree kule kwa sababu hiyo msitu wa mao si ya kupanda miti kutoka mbali 
tujaribu tuja kutafuta ile 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 ndinyi ya swiris ambayo imekuwa kwa hiyo msitu The Mau Forest is the country's largest remaining indigenous forest and also the largest of the country's five water towers. But environmental experts estimate that between 1990 and 2001, up to 107,000 hectares of the Mau Forest complex had been destroyed. By 2009, more than a quarter of the 400,000 hectare forest had been lost to the axe. And the plunder continues. More than 8,000 people were driven out of the forest in the first phase of the evictions. Now, the second phase targeting thousands more in the eastern bloc looms. Wanasiasa ndiyo wanalete shida yote kwa sababu sithani msitu wa mao, watu walikaa kazaliwa pale. Hakuna mtu ajui alitoka wapi. The battle for the Mao has been as political as it has been environmental. Deep in the last swaths of trees that make up the Mao Narok is the conflict's latest flashpoint. Tensions have flared, the fires of confrontation have been lit, and violence has descended on the people living at the center of it. Now you are hearing people say, you know, because people are fighting, let us put on hold the second force of, phase of the evictions. Uh, that should tell you something. They said I'm a very small person, and, and it is true. But you know, only God is big. We're all human beings, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What can they do to me? Uh, maybe other than, other than maybe do what suck me. The smoke that swirls from afar is hardly a smoke screen for the unease that has been building up in pockets of the Mao forest. In the month of September alone, tens have been killed, many more injured in what has been referred to as a clash between communities. With the fires of a looming face-off between the government that insists forest glades have to be protected on one hand and communities who've made homes in the thinning forest cover on the other have been lit. These families are among the 40,000 settlers targeted for eviction out of the 46,000 hectare Masai Mau forest, one of the 23 blocks of the Mau complex. Those people have got no idea the kind of, of, of damage they are causing down, the, down, the downstream because they are, it rains almost all the year, they plant, they harvest, they plant again. They have got no idea. Whatever they are doing has got repercussions on other people downstream, including other countries. People are saying this like clashes now in Arab. You wait until they start now fighting properly over resources. Do what they will. These people are, are, are herders and they know that the animals depend on, on water. Yeah, so this, we, are, we are just being wise. Yeah, and not being wise, if being wise is a bad thing, then I'm, I'm prepared to be called a bad person. Many of the families have simply refused to leave. They claim to have genuine titles to the land within the forest. You cannot say that title is illegal when the process of getting that title is not, is not, not legal. At the end of the day, what you have is just a piece of paper. Can you honestly say that title deeds in that, pass, in that, in that part of this county yeah, are doing what the title is supposed to do? And if they are not doing that, why are they not doing that? It's so they are not legal documents. Yeah, you cannot go to the bank and borrow money using those title deeds. But a report by the Ministry of Environment, tabled in Parliament in August, details how government officials, politicians and other influential persons hived off chunks of the forest land and sold it to unsuspecting individuals. They irregularly increased the sizes of a group ranches far beyond into the forest boundaries. Kama kuna wenzetu wa Masai ambao wameuza hii mau forest, ni mi nasema mwenyewe, kama ulijua mwesuwe na fulani, kama ni Nicholas, kuja kwangu, katua shamba yangu. Samu ndi ni kudanganyia, mali fai. Niambia sasa ni kwa wapa na watoto. Nikatia semu yangu. Hakuna kitu, hakuna njegina. The Masai Mara depends on the Masai Mara River. The Mara River comes from Masai Mau. You mess up with the Masai Mau, there's no Masai Mara. There's no Masai Mara, there's no, there's no tourism. It's even going to affect Tanzania, not just Kenya. Yeah? So we have to be very careful about, about some, of these, some of these issues. They've got serious security implications. Last year, in fact, for the last three years, there have been a serious drought in this place. Yeah? And even rivers dried up. People who carried out irrigation on the Wasonyiro River, mm? and people who had the animals downstream, began finding out what was happening with the rivers. And they were moving upwards. They are going to come face to face with those farmers in the Masai Mau and there will be war. These are, these are facts. 
As the battle for the soul of the Mara rages, this lifeblood of the Mara Serengeti ecosystem is in its sunset days and the odds are stacked against the species of this massive ecosystem. The wildlife here needs a vast dispersal area to survive seasons of drought, but these safe havens are fast disappearing. Uh, whenever now you go to the Amara, you can see many, many, many camps, these standard camps. And again, I think they have a problem. They drain sewages, and I think it can as well even affect the river. The lodges have erected kilometers of electric fencing, cutting off traditional migratory routes and dispersal areas for wildlife. The wildebeest population has also declined, and even though they're not yet a threatened species, they are a keystone species, and a lot lies on their existence. But the signs are more ominous to the north of the Mara, where a smaller wildebeest migration from the Loita Plains has very nearly stopped. While the wildlife numbers decline, the resident human population is ballooning. Residents who complain about not benefiting from the Mara billions have resorted to charcoal burning and farming. And for a place that once was seemingly untouched by time, the environment is displaying symptoms of its mismanagement. The first uh, challenge is uh, increasing pollution. Also, it attracts many tourists, such that the park will not accommodate a big number as such. Settlement. We used to have group ranches, but now it is individual lands. And also, the increase of the mushrooming camps and lodges. The strategic plan for the management of the Masai Mara National Reserve is still very much a draft document that was first put together in 2007 by the now defunct Narok and Transmara County Councils. But from the luxury camps and lodges, the appeal of the Great Crossing continues to draw in visitors. The constant revenue stream for the county government has at the moment and seemingly insulated the community from the harsh reality. According to the Narok County Development Plan 2018 to 2022, revenue from the Masai Mara accounts for 90% of the total revenue sources. Between 2013 to 2017, the county government made 5.8 billion shillings from the Mara. But the fleet of tourist vehicles haven't quite been getting the spectacle that they came for. There is, actually, I think there is a lot of interference. So the crocodiles will also soon extinct uh, on the banks of the Mara River. Because before, some years back, there used to be so many, we used to know, uh, identified spots where you can go and maybe have a few of more than maybe 50 crocodiles, you know, some basking in the same point, but not anymore. We do have lots of repeat clans. And of course, they see the changes. Masai Mara is being sold by word of mouth. If people come here and see, like in after two years, they come and see Mara River is dry up. That's the same, same word go back to worldwide. And they'll again say, don't go to Kenya, because I, didn't, I don't think there's anything else that you can see now. So let's go to Namibia, or let's go to Botswana, or Tanzania. Serengeti is our neighboring country here. In the interim, the crossing into the Mara from the Serengeti continues, even though there isn't much of a river to cross. Hawa nyama ni wa ajabu sana. Kama ujana kia kuweza kutembelea watu wanafuka, ukiona kweli watu wanashinda siku mzima, kuangalia watafuka sangapi, hata wakuli. Wengi hata wanalala karibu kwenye mto. Kabisa kulala siku mbili. But in the long term, the warning signs are out. Profound choices have to be made as the great wildebeest migration isn't great anymore and soon it will just be no more. Sheila Sindeo, NTV.